Hello students, welcome to today's lecture on NMR, Nuclear Magnetic Resonance. This is a supplementary lecture 8, animated one, okay? Not me, I'm not animated, but there'll be animations in the slides. Okay, so over here, we see, now this is not just a red ball, this represents the, what? <laughs> not your S orbital of any element, but radiation source, okay? So this will give off some electromagnetic wave, and you see these two lines representing two different energy level. The one is lower, E2, and the one is higher, E1. So for a higher energy level, we call them the excited state. So you see, when I click on here, right, and it radiates energy, what happens is the molecule will be promoted to a higher energy state, right? And this energy gap is always quantized, that means it's fixed. So you go up and stay there, okay, presumably there won't be any loss of energy until it cannot sustain that particular uh, energy state and then be relaxed later on, okay? So if, I, if, the, uh, if the radiation source give off energy other than this gap, the delta E here, the energy won't be absorbed, so you have to be fixed, what you call in science, quantized, okay? So we can measure the energy of this radiation that's absorbed and we can interpret information about the molecule. And as I've mentioned in the introductory lecture, you can use the equation with the Planck's constant to calculate the energy.